Thanks Selfrecker University for sponsoring this video. It's your man Alex and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about comparing yourself haircuts to some type of barbers that you're seeing on YouTube or even my haircuts. So the ultimate takeaway that I want you to get from this video is that I want you guys as beginner self haircutters, right? Even if you're an intermediate self haircutter, I want you to take away from this. Don't compare your self haircuts or your haircuts in general, whether it's not even for yourself, if it's for your children or your spouse, don't compare your haircuts to a barber's haircut or my haircut. A lot of the problems that I see in my YouTube comments, Instagram comments, TikTok comments, is that so many people are either afraid to get started or they do start and they mess up like, and just, it just looks terrible, right? It's just like, oh, Alex, this and this and that, I did a bad job or like, I don't believe what you're saying because I can't do this. Most people can't do this. You've got all these years of experience, blah, 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 excuse, excuse, excuse. And so I've been saying this for at least the past year. And I want to say this as firm as possible, which is don't compare your self haircuts or haircuts in general to people that have been doing this for years, right? You can't expect to be an expert at something having little to no experience doing it at all. Let's go into an example world, right? Let's say we're at Miami Beach, beautiful Miami Beach. It's a 85 degree sunny day. There's people rollerblading, riding bikes, skateboarding, right? And you are, you got your towel on, you got your chair, you're walking up to the beach with your girl and you're gonna go hang out at the beach and have a nice beach day. But out of the corner of your eye, you see some rich guy, blinged out, Lamborghini, suit or tuxedo, with the nice hair and he's chilling, right? You might look at that guy and think of two things, right? I think there's always two different types of people. You got the person that's jealous, like, oh, he stole or he cheated people or he wronged people to make that money or he was a trust fund baby and he was given that money at birth because he grew up with a rich family. Or you can look at it from the perspective of somebody like I would. I would look at a guy and say, wow, rich, Lamborghini, nice clothes, nice hair. He must have worked extremely hard to get to that point. Whether he was a trust fund baby or not, you still have to put in a lot of work within the 24 hours a day to look rich and have Lamborghinis and nice things. So what I'm alluding to here with this example is that a lot of people will look at those that are in quote unquote higher positions, right? You would look at me as a higher position for self haircuts as you would for somebody who has a Lamborghini, nice tux at the beach, just hanging out, spending thousands of dollars on whatever. If this guy is up here because he has a Lamborghini, nice house, nice this, nice that, then I'm up here with self haircuts, right? I know it's like, it's on the low level if you were gonna compare me to somebody with, with that status, but what I'm alluding to here is you, if you're watching this and you're a beginner self haircutter you can't look at this guy with the lambo or me with 14 years of self haircut experience assuming that you can then jump to give yourself the same self haircuts that i give myself after not giving yourself a single self haircut so really it's just kind of building up your awareness and thinking back and reflecting saying okay alex you're right, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have any experience cutting my own hair. I don't even have the right tools, right? You say I need a clipper with a lever, don't even have that. How am I gonna give myself a skin fade? How am I gonna cut the hair on top with these crap scissors from this $10 kit from TJ Maxx, right? And the truth is you can't. The truth is there's a system that you have to follow. You have to get the proper tools. You have to watch all these free videos on YouTube, whether it's me or barbers, just to learn the basics and then you wanna start small with your self haircuts. I always, always say, start small. Do a self haircut, give a haircut that's one step, two steps, right? Buzz cut, boom. Bust out the trimmer, line yourself up, two steps, boom. It's not complete skin fade, right? Shavers, half guard, one guard, two guard, lever open, lever close, lever halfway, all of this fading scissors, combs, like you're gonna paralyze yourself when you honestly watch a video of mine giving myself an expert level self haircut video. You're gonna paralyze yourself after watching a skin fade video of mine. Whereas if you watch a beginner video, you might actually consider trying and, and taking the risk to give yourself a haircut to at least build the foundation of you starting to cut your hair and eventually become really good at it and start saving one to $3,000 every single year for the rest of your life. 
Before we continue with the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Self Haircut University. The goal of SHU is to help you overcome your self haircut fears and become an expert self haircutter in less than six months. Learning this skill set will save you one to three thousand dollars per year for the rest of your life. Because we all know barbershops today are getting more and more expensive and taking up too much of our meaningful time. Within 72 hours of joining SHU, I will personally be hosting a coaching call with you directly to discuss a plan of action to get you started on the right track. With over a hundred thousand of followers across all platforms, video testimonials, and 14 years of self haircut experience, there's no better person with more passion than myself to guide you through this self haircut journey. To get started before the next price increase, go to selfhaircutuniversity.com or click the first link in the description to start today. Thank you, Self Haircut University, for sponsoring this video. Now, aside from myself, in comparison to your haircuts versus barber haircuts, that's just like even worse than comparing your haircuts to my haircuts, right? Remember, barbers go to barbering school which is like an eight to 12 month course that they pay 10,000 to $20,000 for. They're spending eight plus hours every single day, Monday through Friday for eight to 12 months, spending 10 to $20,000 to go through a program to learn how to cut hair so that they can make money with this career path. So there's no way that you can compare your haircuts, having zero experience, no hours in the game, no practice, no teachers, no coaching, no nothing other than just free YouTube videos online. You can't compare yourself to a barber who's got all of these hours of experience and all of these heads that he's cut every single day and does it for a career. So to run everything back within this video, I think the biggest thing here is just being more self-aware and understanding what your goals are and understanding what you're capable of. It's taking what I'm saying with a grain of salt, watching the YouTube videos, making sure you have the proper tools, making sure that you have the proper setup and just really taking it easy. What type of haircut do you have? What type of haircut do you want to have? How will you achieve getting that haircut with the tools that you have? What's the easiest route to go about cutting your hair? How can you take off a fourth of an inch right here and a fourth of an inch right here and still be satisfied with the overall look? And how can you progress on that self haircut so that you can eventually start taking off half an inch or a full inch or eventually giving yourself a fade and then a skin fade, right? What are your building blocks? What are your steps that you're writing down on pen and paper so that you can give yourself really easy haircuts at first and then gradually work your way up to the more expert level self haircuts. So I hope in today's video, I brought some light to you guys and just kind of helped you figure out a little bit more your goals with self haircutting and that all of the people that you see on YouTube, we've been doing this stuff for a long, long time, whether it's me or other barbers, there's hundreds of them. I'm not a barber, but remember, there's hundreds of barbers and people that teach cutting hair online. I might not be a barber, but I've been doing this for 14 years. So from experience, I can tell you that this would be the best route for most people to take in order to properly learn how to cut their own hair to start saving time and money and not have to go to a barber shop and spend thousands of dollars every year on haircuts. So I speak from personal experience. I think personally that this would be the best route to go. Start small, don't go too crazy. Make sure you have the proper tools, right? I have links in the description down below with all of the tools that I recommend. I also have a program where you can join. I do weekly coaching calls. I do private live stream self haircut tutorials where you guys can join a YouTube live and ask me questions while I'm cutting my hair live. So on top of 120 plus lectures, 24 hour support, the program really covers it all and it's a massive step up from my free YouTube videos. So again, it all just depends on what are your goals? What are you trying to achieve? And would one to $3,000 per year in savings and time really make a big difference in your life? Or does it not even matter at all? But you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did find value, make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend. Also click on the subscribe button down below and click on the post notifications as well to never miss a new weekly video. But as always, I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in and listening to what I have to say. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.